This is the Mohawk Ultramark. This is a finely ground pigmented marker, comes in a great range of colors. This happens to be just a simple dozen pack, and so we've got a good variety of colors from lights to darks, from sort of reds to greens and the brown earth tones. So we're gonna take a marker and we're gonna use a marker for basic touch up, just making a panel look a little bit better. I've got some rub throughs on an edge, I've got a couple of little scrapes on some areas. We just want to make it look better cosmetically. So I'm gonna come over and I'm going to find a marker that looks like it's a pretty good color match for my overall background. I'm gonna find a marker that has a nice color and I'm going to start to use it. This is a pigmented marker. When you pull off the cap, it's gonna have a chisel tip nib, gonna be chisel shaped. And when we start to use it, we're gonna wet out this tip and we're gonna use these little sharp points. We're not gonna use the broad area of the marker. We're actually gonna apply the color with just a little tip. So this is a spring-loaded valve marker. This nib will come out. The valve closes so the product doesn't spill out if it's turned over. So it has to be depressed in order to get the product to flow. Since it is pigment, pigments will settle. We need to shake it up and get all of the pigments into suspension. Once we've shaken it, then we want to take the tip, hold it upright, and just release any built up pressure. That ball moving inside there can build up a little friction. That friction creates heat and makes the gas or liquid expand. So we want to turn it over and start to use it. We're going to hold it upright, release the pressure. Now we're ready to wet out the tip. If you've got something old or maybe a rag, we can use that to wet it out. I'm going to depress that tip. I'm just going to depress the tip until this material starts to flow through that, that little nib. I can do it on a cloth. You can see when it starts to flow. You want it to slowly flow through the nib rather than giving it an opportunity to flood around it. So I'm gonna to continue to press it, opening the valve until the product flows all the way to the tip of the nib. Once it has flowed to the tip, I can come into my rubbed area, my rubbed edge, and put in my color, replace the color right along the worn edge. I'll use my finger to lightly blend it in. Put on the color and blend it until it looks natural. Same thing with another scrape or scratch on a surface. Again, using just the corner of the nib, I'm gonna come in and lightly apply color and blend it. Apply a little color and blend it to just give me a nice cosmetic completed look. Mohawk Ultramark.